Good morning, acrylic porous. Um, I'm going to do a um, pour for you today to show you how I got this um, finish on my acrylic pour. So I'll do it with all of the same colours except I'm adding a magenta in there just because I've got it already mixed. So um, this particular mix I'm doing is thinner than normal because I want to get the movement. I don't want to get little tiny round cells. I want the cells to stretch and cause um, this beautiful composition that's occurred. So here we go. Trying to um, speak a little louder for the people that say they can't hear me. I, if you know anything about my, um, or if you've watched any of my videos before, you'll know that I always make my paint up um, well in advance. Usually, if I'm, I know what I'm doing the next day, I'll make up just a big batch of paint in the tall cups, and I will just paint until I've used all of them, so I don't measure for each particular canvas. So these were all made up maybe four days ago now and I'll keep them on this um, silicone tray that my husband did for me to stop me knocking them over I'll just go through the colors so okay I've got I've got turquoise I've got magenta I've got purple I've got a navy that I'm going to use to swipe with that's what I made up myself um, and I've got a gold metallic gold and a metallic antique gold so two different golds and I've got pearl white okay so those are the colors I'm going to use up because I've had as I've said I've had those made a few days now so I'm going to uh, just keep going with canvases until they're all made up Just going to, thought I was going to mix a li a, another colour, but I think I'm going to resist because, as I said, I really like my paints. When they're made up uh, beforehand, they always, always give me better results. So I'll just stick with what I've got. I'm going to pour the magenta on first. This, it's, it's not water thin, definitely not water thin, but it's a little bit more runny than I normally do because I want the cells to move and become bigger and stretched because they create all a number of different looks in your painting. So I'm going to, actually, I'm just gonna do what I would normally do, which is not doing nice, neat rows or anything is just in the snake effect all over my painting. Okay. Ooh. So I'll go with the purple next. All of these colors I'm using today are global paints. I think the only exception is the pearl white is Byron. As you know, these Australian brands uh, may be harder to get overseas. Um, So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna do the swipe from the top here, but I'm still gonna cover it in paint because I don't like the thick or any sort of prominent line. I like, it'll still come out pretty much the same, but at least you'll have some of the colors coming through your swipe color. It won't just be that thick line. So, go to my goals, which I'm getting, huh. Quite a bit of paint on this now so don't want to have too much then I don't want to have too little so as you know I'm always experimenting with colors I love my colors love putting colors together that you probably wouldn't normally put together but that's just my thing <laughs> so I'll just pour a bit of this um, Pearl white, 
just pull it making sure it sort of tips over the edges already even though I'm going to tilt mostly it'll tilt all off but let's give it a go anyway okay just move those out the way because I've got a tendency to go and knock them over with my hands or um, my elbows so you see the paints all layered just the same so I'm just going to gently tilt it like I said this is a runnier mix because I do want stretched out cells and I want it to move and create points of interest every time you tilt to one end just try to tilt it back to the center again just to so you've got uh, you're not running all the paint off at one particular spot if you don't get your corners, absolutely don't stress over it. I'll show you what I do, which is no biggie, but getting stressed over corners is ridiculous, I believe. <laughs> well, I find it ridiculous if when I used to get stressed over corners, so I don't get stressed over corners. Okay, what I do with my corners is I just use some of the paint that's on there and I just finger dab it it's absolutely fine it comes out just the same just finger dab the corners with the excess paint that you have left over that you've just tilted off this comes up just as nice and if ever you get a bare spot on the on the edges which you sometimes find you have if you've used thinner paint you can always with your excess paint that's left underneath just finger dab it and it's fine as long as you don't start getting your paints becoming real muddy but this is um, something that you should be enjoying doing not stressing over so I'm just wiping underneath just making sure that everything's off that I've got a bit of a wobbly oh no that's okay I did put a paddle pop stick under there so one end was a little bit wobbly but okay, that is fine. I'm gonna just wash my hands off. Okay, so hopefully everything's going fine with that. You're seeing what's happening and oh, may have to move my work over a little bit because I've obviously on okay hopefully that's easier for you to see it's actually quite quite nice on its own so what I'm going to do is different again I'm going to I don't want to pour too much this is my navy that I make out of the I think it's the warm yeah the warm blue as you know I don't measure I put warm blue in my cup add a blob of black and a blob of green which I usually use deep green and just mix it until I mean this is quite dark but it actually does dry navy so here goes so I'm going to go from this top end and as I said I don't leave that space at the top without any paint under it because I don't like it just being a thick band I like it to have some color underneath it which will come up once it's um, torched so okay that's my as you see it's not too much at all it's just maybe a centimeter and a half this particular canvas is a, ooh, a 40 by 40 centimeter Oh no, that's not right because that's the wrong one. Where am I going? Okay, that was the one I did yesterday was the 40 by 40. Um, this one is 30, 30 by 40. So it's 12 inch by 16. So again, um, plastic file divider, best tool ever, does fantastic swipes. Um, 10 in a pack, I think for, uh, yeah, about, six dollars or not very expensive but the best swipe tool really 
and you can wash it and reuse it. So you see, just take it nice and easy. There's absolutely no stress to do it quickly. Nice and um, slowly you do it, the better results you'll get just because you're taking a bit of care. So as you said, don't let the file divider drop right into the paint, only about the first centimetre and then keeping it tilted and just gently draw it down the canvas. If you miss bits, don't worry. It's all good. So there's a little bit there. I want to just run some of the paint off I've got there because it'll still come up lovely colours. As you see, we're already getting cells coming up. So, okay. So that's the um, navy swipe from one end, like I said. I load it with colour underneath because when you torch it the colours will come through without leaving such a thick band. That's um, just how I like to do it. Again, everybody's got their own technique. Nobody's right and nobody's wrong. It's just, just personal preference and what you find works better for you might not work for somebody else. So as you can see, it's forming some fat cells because as, as I said previously, I don't want tiny cells in this particular work. I want the cells to stretch out. Um, yeah, because they create some really cool effects. So I'm using my butane torch or you might just use your little, um, I'm trying to find my small one. But I just, I just get better results with this, but you have got, got to be very careful because it is a, a big butane torch. So I will just do my normal dab. I'll do it up here first where I swiped. And if you can see, see the colors coming through underneath, even though it's where I swiped from, the colors will come through so I won't leave such a thick band but I do like to leave, when I'm doing this particular kind of painting, uh, lots of negative space, because as I said, these cells will stretch and make all kinds of weird and wonderful um, and cool looks. So I'm not, see it's so much, I just like it so much better that there's not the thick blue line, the color comes through. But each to your own, and I think that's absolutely heaps. And basically, I would just leave that now. And what will happen is the same as in my other work. The cells will stretch because I've done a thinner mix. Okay, this the cells will stretch like that and create all sorts of, oh, you can see so much in your work. <laughs> weird creatures, weird faces. Um, but yeah, this is just gorgeous coming up with the cells like little gems everywhere. It's really lovely. So I will try to do a close up of that. And that's my simple way of doing, I'm going to call it a gem, a gem swipe. <laughs> because they do look like gems, especially in that colour. Uh, I'll just give you a bit of a close up and then I'll put some, um, photos on my page so if you're watching this on YouTube please subscribe to my channel uh, it's free I don't expect any money off any of you and most pourers are doing this for free so please don't give them the thumbs down give all pourers the thumbs up because they're giving you an opportunity to learn and if you haven't learned anything move on okay so, yeah, that's finished project. Hope that it helps any of you, and I'm quite happy to answer your questions. I don't usually answer questions on YouTube because I'm too busy on my Facebook page. So if you pop over to my Facebook page, which I'll put a link on this video, and uh, join my um, acrylic art page, um, yeah, I can answer any questions there. Have a great day, people.